All right, I'm playing with my angles and whatnot. Because now I'm using, set myself here. Now I'm using my phone again. I had intended to use my laptop, but um, yeah, it, it had different ideas. So, let's see if I can get this right. Let's angle things, center that, and look at the camera. All right. Uh, another video I had not intended to make. Boy. But, uh, yeah, I've got an hour to kill, so here it is. Okay, yesterday I did a Whole Foods run. Got uh, one up and down the aisles to see what I could find. Um, but really didn't explain much about how you're gonna how to mix it all together. Um, since salads, already made salads, tend to be fairly expensive, it really doesn't fit anyone's, uh, most people's budgets. So I'm going to make my own bean salad, more or less. Um, can of beans, and then I'm going to switch off between spinach and kale. Um, since the beans are not salted, I'm going to add mustard to it. Obviously, you, you put as much mustard you know, as you want. It's just according to taste. What else? Um, oh, uh, I'll throw the chips in there to give it a nice little crunch. So, and of course, I'm going to also mix the um, flaxseed, a tablespoon of flaxseed in there. All right, the thing about flaxseed, this is not the time to cut down on your water intake. If anything, increase your water intake. Um, or at least sustain it because if not, your restroom visits are going to be somewhat of an ordeal. All right. Uh, it solidifies a lot of things. <laughs> I'm trying to be delicate. So, yeah, do not reduce your liquid intake at this time if, if you're taking flaxseed. And if you can, increase it a little. All right. What else? Um, Okay, the uh, the ketchup is sweet the way most Americans like their food. So, if that appeals to you, by all means, have that available. Um, I didn't get the barbecue sauce because, frankly, storage is an issue in my situation. And... Uh, you know, there's just so much you want to have to lug around anyway. Refrigeration. The directions will tell you to refrigerate after opening. Um, caveat here, I'm, I'm not going to uh, say they're not absolutely correct because everybody's metabolism is different and you're we're going to respond to things differently but frankly the spinach the kale i'm going to eat that sucker until it looks like it shouldn't be eaten all right and i'm not going to refrigerate it so if that lasts two days if that lasts four days if that lasts four weeks it's not going to last four weeks, but whatever. Uh, that's the way it's going to be. Depending on the environment, how hot is it, how humid is it, um, really will determine 
how quickly it spoils. And again, everybody's metabolism responds differently. You could be have a very, very sensitive system, and even the slightest, you know, not completely fresh, fresh, fresh is going to upset your stomach. Well, then follow whatever directions you feel comfortable in following. For my part, I'm going to eat the darn thing until it looks like it shouldn't be eaten or smells like it shouldn't be eaten. And uh, of course that will again vary depending on climate, humidity, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I don't know what to do about measurements. I use a whole can. Uh, you know, I'll use a tablespoon of flaxseed. I use a whole can of beans. I use a tablespoon of flaxseed which is really like a teaspoon with a very generous heap, you know, not flattened out. That's my tablespoon, whatever. Um, if you really want to be exact about it, seven grams. Um, again, do not consume more than 14 grams a day. So two tablespoons throughout the day, one or two tablespoons. It doesn't have to be two, but do not exceed two. Or, uh, <laughs> again, everybody's metabolism is different. I'm just going for the, the broadest range kind of thing. Don't go more than 14 grams a day, or if you really feel you have to, definitely increase your water intake because that's going to be um, that's going to be unpleasant so for my part seven grams a day maybe 14 grams a day and that's it seven because i think seven is effective enough and the thing is not it's not too cheap i mean it'll last a long time but even so it's an extra expense. So, personally, I do seven grams a day, and uh, my fluid intake more or less the same. Um, and that's supposed to uh, be anti-inflammatory. So, you know, if you got super sensitive to gluten or whatever it is, whatever else is in your diet that, that may upset your system, hopefully this will counter that, uh, to some extent anyway. It depends on how much, again, your own metabolism and how much the rest of your diet. Okay. Um, I don't really like... I never paid attention to trends, but nowadays, if you start seeing things like uh, gluten-free this, gluten-free that, somewhere along the line, a decent percentage of the population has developed a sensitivity towards gluten for whatever reason. The fact that they have don't ban this stuff out now is shouldn't be surprising because. Nowadays, businesses are given a lot of leeway as far as what they they can do. So, um, don't necessarily jump on the bandwagon, but pay attention to your own system and listen to what they're complaining about and make those determinations for yourself. Like usually you can, I can eat whatever, but if it's gotten to the point where I need to start thinking about being at a peak performance kind of level, or, or at least uh, increase my my uh, physical abilities, now you want to start paying attention a, a little bit more. So, um, so if you're looking to get in shape, you probably 
as an American living in America, uh, North America. As a North American living in North America, a good place to start is probably what you're consuming. And chances are you're consuming too many processed foods and everything that brings about. So don't necessarily jump on a bandwagon, but uh, find out what they're complaining about and look at your own physical condition and make whatever determinations you need to make and adjustments. All right, that's my little, uh, let me tell you, that nutrition course scared the heck, <laughs> scared the heck out of me because it threw out a lot of warning uh, red flags, as it should. And um, I mean, if you're going to take your subject seriously, take it seriously. So I think my instructor did an excellent job. So kudos and thank you. Anyway, what else we got? Uh, I'm trying to remember what, uh, again, I had mentioned the list, but I did, oh, yogurt. Yeah, I had mentioned that the, those little fruit cups are cheaper than yogurt. That does not mean you should not eat yogurt. Uh, more fruits, more salads, and include yogurt because the stuff they're putting in foods Yogurt's a pretty good idea. Plain yogurt is better, but whatever yogurt you can get in there. Yes. Um, I don't know. If anything else, I'll uh, try to include it in the notes. All right. That's it for now. Talk to you later.